Hello, everybody. I'm Ricky Smith, and this is Faith on Friday Presents. At Faith on Friday Presents, we're all about highlighting inspiring people, engaging topics, and small businesses. And don't forget, while you're here, like, subscribe, and share our information with your network. So let's talk about money. We've all wanted, it, we all have had it, we've all blown it, and we've all saved it. But what do you really know about your money? What about insurance? What about the things that you need now for later? I know, it's one of those things. But that's okay. I've got somebody here today who's going to share some insight and tips with us. Y'all, please say hello to Madonna Brown. Hi, Madonna. How are you? Hey, Ricky. Such a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming because this topic is really important. Now, you and I have talked before and we've talked about what you do, why you do it. So let's start there. Madonna, tell us a little bit about what it is that you do and for who. I am a life insurance agent slash financial professional. What does that mean? I sell life insurance, but don't turn away, folks. Don't turn away. I work with those who the financial industry has typically left behind. And that's the 95% of the American public. Now, what I do is I teach the 95% how to become the 5% through opportunity, but mainly through our products. Wow, that is a whole bunch. And I'll tell you why, because like I love when you said, you sell life insurance, don't turn away. Because a lot of us have that mindset about what life insurance is all about and how sleazy life insurance agents are and they're just rolling up on you in the parking lot at Walmart and this other stuff. (laughs) (laughs) But the thing that you said that was really interesting is that you're teaching it to people who traditionally have been left behind, which is that 95% of people. Who are those people exactly, Madonna? So it's the people who make less than $100,000 a year. Bless you. It is those who have a job. It is those who are controlled by someone else. It is those who are, have an insurance policy only through their job. And many of them don't know is when they leave that job, that insurance doesn't go with them. Wow. Many of them, yes. And many of them believe that insurance is only for beneficiaries. Everything I sell, you can be your own beneficiary. Wait, what? Wait, you mean I don't? So if I can be my own beneficiary, what does that mean at death? I don't get it. Okay, so we have many products, but let me tell you our most popular. We have our term living benefits. And that is a policy, whereas if you have a chronic, critical or terminal illness, It has been verified by a medical professional dealing with your case to the insurance company. You get from 24 to 90% of your death benefit tax free. You never have to pay it back. Wow. So that's our term living benefits. (laughs) That's amazing. And that's let me let me just don't know. Exactly. Let me just give a little bit. Say, say you have a one hundred thousand dollar death benefit. You have a chronic illness, which is you cannot do two of six activities of daily living. And I'll go through that with anyone who wants to know. But if they have a critical illness, they excuse me, a chronic illness, they get twenty four percent. So that would be twenty four thousand dollars tax free. Mm -hmm. If they have a critical illness, heart attack, stroke, cancer, they get up to 90%. So that would be $90,000 tax-free that you don't have to pay back. That 10% that is left over, mm-hmm. they would give to your family upon your death. If you're terminal, 12 months or out, they will give you um, 100% of whatever your death benefit is tax-free. Oh my gosh. That's Madonna, our term living benefits. Why do we not know this? Honestly, it wasn't meant Listen, I work with all people, Mm -hmm. but I specialize in working with those in the Black community and the Brown community who have never heard of it. These 
insurance was created in 1913. So you can only imagine we mm. didn't have that opportunity in 1913. Sure. Mm -hmm. And when it was in the 1970s and 80s, when it was really popular, again, most insurance was only for the left behind, only your beneficiaries. And many of us Black people only saw that insurance guy either mm -hmm. coming to our parents' home or to yeah. our grandparents' home. And then we ended up finding out when grandmother or grandfather died, guess what? They had paid more than what that policy is worth. And then yeah. if they had stopped paying, nothing was there for the family. Exactly. So there was a distrust built in insurance. Mm. So maybe that's why we feel the way we feel about insurance agents. Yes. Because we don't yes. know, you know, and like you said, we thought death benefits were for those left behind. But now you're saying there are products and services that can be had now while you're alive as the person who is the insured. So exactly. Madonna, if somebody wanted to say, you know, this is what I'm thinking I'm needing, how would they go about finding out what sort of insurance is best for them in their situation? Well, the one thing that I do with everyone I sit down with, I do what's called a dime and then a financial needs analysis. What is dime? It's an acronym for debt. So I look at all of your debt. Mm -hmm. What is your income? I take your income and I multiply it by 10. Now, if you're a high net worth individual, um, a doctor who makes a lot of money, a lawyer, uh, an executive, a company owner, I take that income and multiply it by 14 or 15. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you want it to last out longer. Yeah. I take your mortgage. What is your mortgage? And then I take education. If you have children, Mm. I want those kids to be educated through college. Sure. If you have any kind of permanent coverage, I subtract that. And that's how I get what your total financial insurance need is. Wow. Again, why do I multiply the income by either 10 or 14? That's mm. so 10 years out, even after, you, if you die unexpectedly, your yeah. family will have your income for the next 10, 11, 12, 13, however many years. Wow. That it sounds so simple. So Madonna, you know, we're shopping at Walmart, going to Starbucks, totally hanging out. There's some random insurance person there wanting to know, hey, do you have some insurance? What kind of things as a as a consumer should we be looking for or asking of these people that randomly roll up on us? <laughs> well, um, Knowing what I know now, if someone is going to roll up on me, mm. I am going to say, is my policy a policy where I can be the beneficiary? Mm. Is my policy going with compound interest? Is my policy um, able to, uh, am I able to use it when I have a chronic critical or terminal illness? Um, am I paying you? You see, oh. I don't get paid by my person, by my people, I get compensated by whatever company I am working with. I work oh. with 85 plus, A plus rated companies. So I never have to fit a client into two or three products. Or sure. I fit a client where they fit best. So you have to know how, what it is you're, you're getting, who am I paying? Um, is it growing with compound interest and is it tax-free upon distribution Ooh. and am I guaranteed to never lose a penny wait you said Everyone never lose a penny guaranteed to never lose a penny yes wow. see and it's stuff like this like I said most of us grew up with life insurance, the, the need for it. We have, you know, the big couple of companies that people are very familiar with when it comes to life insurance. And, mm -hmm. and then now there's so many little ones that are popping up. You never really know where to go or how to find it or, or anything like that, or who to trust. Exactly. exactly. You know, I like what you said that life insurance came about, what, in 1913? 1913. And it wasn't for us. It wasn't for us. So and I trust. I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, no. How do you learn to trust what you don't know? Well, you have to sometimes go through uh, someone who you know. Mm. Um, or if you don't, 
go to a website like my website um, and interview. You have to interview people. That. You cannot, you cannot um, just, just pick someone randomly, interview that person. Mm-hmm. You have to interview that person. Yeah. When you're interviewing somebody, Madonna, what is it that you're looking for? Well, you're looking to see, make sure that they are licensed. <laughs> That's that right number there. one. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Number two, um, how do they get paid? Number three, how many products do they have? And again, what does it guarantee you? Mm-hmm. Can you use it while you're alive and well or while you're alive and sick? Mm-hmm. Is it growing with compound interest? Mm-hmm. So I always tell people, think about it as if it's a bank. However, with this insurance, this is a bank where you never lose money. So you have to make sure your money is someplace that it will never, ever lose a penny. Yeah, that. Wow, that is so good. So, Manana, there's so many things about life insurance that we don't know. And very few of us know a life insurance, if you will, agent or somebody that we know, like, and trust, or even somebody that we believe will give us good or right answers. So Madonna, if somebody wanted to reach out to you to ask you questions or continue this conversation, what's the best place for them to reach you? They can reach me. Actually, I will give them my calendar because that might be just the easiest way and it'll get to me directly. Awesome. And that is calendly.com forward slash Madonna Brown. M A D O N N A B R O W N. I love that. Don't worry, you all. If you didn't get her calendar information, it's going to be in the description below. I'm going to recommend reach out. And don't forget, you all, while you're here, subscribe, like, and share our content. You never know who's going to need this kind of information. Madonna, my friend, before I let you go, we're going to have to play a game. Uh Oh, I like (laughs) this. I I thought you might. So this game is really simple. It's called this or that. I'm going to give you the choice of a couple of things and you just tell me which one you like the best. Are you ready to play my friend? I'm ready, Alex. (laughs) Let's do this. McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Flowers or plants? Plants. Work from home or go to the office? Work from home. (laughs) I know that's right, girl. All day, every day. Yes. Or Michael Jackson? Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Friends, if I have to choose one, but that's hard. Ricky, I'm scared. I, I, you can choose both. It's it's your choice. Oh, okay. I choose both then. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I understand completely. All right. Practical joker or I don't play like that. Um, As long as they don't go too hard, I don't mind a good laugh. Okay. As long okay. as it's not hurting or, or, right. or, or, or mean. Because I yeah, hate or mean. mean. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Dressing up or dressing down? Oh, seeing that I dress down so much because I work from home, I like to dress up. <laughs> I know. Put on something glittery. I know. I yes. like that. Yes. <laughs> Go all day or I need a nap? Uh, on the weekends, I take a nap. During mm. the week, I'm going. Yeah, all day, all day. I hear you. Yeah. Do it yourself or hire a professional? Oh, hire a professional. Right. Hire Don't a bother. professional. <laughs> Okay, um, clap back or hold your tongue? Clap back. <laughs> that was quick, right? I was like, did you want to think about that for a minute, Madonna? Or you're good? Clap back. <laughs> so you're, what you're saying is I'm straight coming for you. I like it. And finally, Madonna, what was your first job in high school? I didn't have any jobs in high school. I was kind of a spoiled kid oh, um, I didn't have any high school me. job wow I wanted to be you when I got big I guess <laughs> I don't know I 
wow, we're going to have to talk about that later. Madonna, thank you so much for being with us today. I appreciate you, girl. Thank you so much, Ricky. And I love Faith on Friday, folks. Ricky's got it. Oh, I appreciate that. I did not pay him for that, y'all. I just need you to know. <laughs> y'all, that's it for this time. But don't worry. We'll be back next time with more Faith on Friday Presents. Thank you.